What's up guys, I'm here to tell you, rather, here to recommend some animes that you guys should be watching coming fall 2022 season, which is in a few days. Here's what you should be watching. Hi, this is World Paz, and I'm here to recommend to you guys the anime you should be watching for the upcoming fall 2022 season. Now, some of them are continuations of, you know, anime that have already been airing, and others are new to the game. They're here for the first time, animated, adapted from very popular manga series. So, I'm gonna go ahead and start you guys off. If you haven't heard of Spy Family, you must be living under a rock. But the second core, the second 12 or I believe 13 episodes of the first season are going to start airing October 1st. Uh, sh I'm, I think most of these that I'm going to say on these lists are going to be like on Crunchyroll. So just keep an eye out if it's on Crunchyroll. Um, I think there's only a few that we still don't know where it's going to air yet. But definitely keep an eye out for Spy Family, a nice family friendly show. Uh, anybody could get into it. I enjoy it. Uh, it's different than, you know, action, anime, manga, very adorable main character. She's so sweet. And it's just an all around feel good anime. I recommend it. And if you haven't watched the first 12 episodes, go do so before you watch this. Second on the list is going to be Mob Psycho 100 Season 3. Now, this has always been a sleeper anime for me, a very uh, underrated anime, I would say. And Season 2 is probably what shot it up in popularity. I believe season three is gonna continue the hype. Season two absolutely obliterated season one and season one was actually pretty good. Uh, I would check out the first two seasons right now also on Crunchyroll. Season three is going to be out October 5th on Crunchyroll and I can't wait because it's really, really pushing the hand-drawn animation and it somebody, I think, uh, someone from the studio said that they had like 2,000 or million frames or something like that on, on a few episodes just of hand-drawn anime it's exciting hope y'all can appreciate how much work it takes to do that and mob psycho 100 can definitely show you the results of how much hand-drawn animation can be pushed next on the list is blue lock coming on october 8th we don't know where yet i believe i'm i'm really thinking crunchyroll is just gonna have all these but just keep an eye out october 5th blue lock uh, supposedly a soccer anime i don't know too much about it because i haven't read the manga uh, but it looks really hype from all the previews we've gotten all the all the trailers blue lock is a soccer anime and it looks hype it looks fast paced and it looks like it's gonna be animated very well be on the lookout for it october 8th now my hero has been in the game as one of the new generation uh like pioneers for anime uh, since you know it came out season one and and forward um, whether you like it or not you can't deny that it's had a huge impact on the anime community season six will be dropping October 1st it's not gonna waste any time if you are keeping up with the series this part of the season should show us the heroes finally catching on to what the villains have been up to they're gonna infiltrate and that's about the gist of what I know about the season I wanted to keep it very uh vague for myself so i could be surprised as my heroes always give me some giving me surprises when i watch the anime i am an anime only watcher only been spoiled on a handful of things for the manga but you know we're gonna keep that in the back of my mind so i can hopefully forget about it season six you should be watching if you keep up if you haven't still have time to binge season one through five and all the movies because it's definitely worth it Next, we have Golden Kamui Season 4. This is probably the only one on the list that I have not watched. One of two. I, I actually haven't watched another one that I'm going to recommend. But it's always been in the talk of the anime community. It's what I hear a sleeper as well. It's been on my watch list. I just haven't gotten around catching up to the, to the anime. Like, I haven't even watched Episode 1. So obviously, I have some binging to do. But people love Golden Kamui. I've heard nothing but good things about it. Nobody ever really talks too bad about it. Uh, I would think it's it's a gem. Once I watch it, I can <laughs> confirm for you guys. But I would say if you are a Golden Kamui fan and you're still keeping up with it, 
season four should be a great time the fact that it's made it to more than two seasons is already just a great sign for any anime uh i i rarely see that for anime or any new gen anime so golden kamui coming out october 3rd i just believe i'll be checking it out once i catch up and binge the entire first seasons this one i am so hyped for this is bleach we're back baby bleach is back i just finished re-watching just so i could be ready for the thousand year blood war arc in bleach uh, they've been pushing the relaunch of the anime very very hard it's the only thing is we don't know where it's gonna stream we know disney plus has picked up the title to stream on their platform but we don't know where else it's gonna stream this media uh confirmed that you would be able it's gonna be simulcast but we still don't know where and the days are ticking we got like maybe two weeks left it should be coming out on october 10th hopefully we get information on where it's streaming soon but i'm super excited to see ichigo and the gang back in the high definition very crisp animation and you know apparently we're getting four cores total 54 episodes we're lit that's gonna be this is gonna be a great time for anime fans uh the big one of the big three coming back doing its thing all we need is naruto <laughs> no i'm just kidding i i could hope i could hope a studio would pick up and redo naruto but leech october 10th be ready thousand year blood war arc it's gonna be hype next we got another one that i haven't watched but i've heard a lot of hype behind the marketing and i, I saw the preview and it looked really really interesting it's mobile suit gundam which from mercury uh it just it looks really promising i still want to watch uh i think iron blooded orphans i think that's the other gundam uh anime that came out recently i still have that on my watch list because that one looked really interesting as well i don't know if there's a correlation or not if i do well when i do watch this anime it would be my first gundam anime ever i'm excited to watch it obviously i have some research to do to watch the older ones but you know i wouldn't mind getting into it with these recent ones and then going back and watching the older gundam shows so october 2nd is when it, it'll be able to be available to stream on crunchyroll all of the anime i've mentioned have led up to this moment where i recommend the best manga i think i've ever read one of the best manga very up there up there for sure tatsuki fuchi i can't even say his name Tatsuki Fujimoto is a masterful writer. He created a masterpiece with Chainsaw Man, and that's what I'm going to recommend because everybody should be watching Chainsaw Man when it comes out on October 11th. Studio Mappa has given their best animation for this project from what I've seen from all the previews. This animation looks like the best animated like Mappa series that I've seen. Like It almost looks movie quality. And they're putting out all the stops. We got 12 new endings for every episode. At the end of the episode, there's going to be 12 new ending songs each. It's crazy. It's crazy. I'm so excited. So hyped. Hope y'all enjoy the ride because it is a crazy, crazy masterpiece. I hope y'all tune in October 11th. Should be on Crunchyroll. Chainsaw Man is worth the hype. Piggyback off that last recommendation, I have some honorable mentions of shows I don't really watch. Actually, I watched one of them. I have some honorable mentions uh, of shows you should look into if you've been watching it or you're not interested in any of my list. <laughs> we have Two Year Eternity Season 2 comes out October 23rd. The Berserk Golden Age arc. I I'll probably be tuning in, especially since I'm just getting into the manga. I'm two volumes deep. I got a long way to go. That one, October 1st. And it's going to be Usaki Chan Wants to Hang Out. Uh, Uzaki-chan, I might tune in just to see why everybody likes it so much. Uh, if you're interested in those kind of anime, like, definitely check out Uzaki-chan Wants to Hang Out. It's going to be out October 1st. So that's going to be all the recommendations I have for this video. If you have any other recommendations that I didn't mention, go ahead and comment them down below. Uh, go ahead and like, subscribe, and let me know what you guys think about my list. Let me know if you're excited for any of the anime that I mentioned. Or if you're excited for other ones that I didn't get to mention, uh, you know, I'm open to feedback, open to responses. Go ahead, comment to your heart's content. <laughs> this has been World Pass, giving you the update on what to watch because this all anime season is going to be legendary. And it's only going to be followed up by a very legendary winter, 20, uh, winter anime season too. So let's enjoy the ride. I'm excited to watch all these anime. Let me know what you guys thought. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.
Thank you.